At least four people were killed and nine others were injured after a teen opened fire at a Georgia high school yesterday. It happened at Appalachie High School about an hour outside Atlanta. Two students and two teachers were killed. Georgia investigators say two school resource officers found the suspect within minutes and he immediately surrendered and was taken into custody. He is being charged with murder and charged as an adult. Attorneys for former President Donald Trump are making a last-ditch effort to delay sentencing for falsifying business records. They asked the federal appeals court for a stay. The request comes after a federal judge rejected Trump's motion to move the state case into federal court and delay the sentencing. That sentencing currently scheduled for September the 18th could result in Trump's immediate incarceration. The former president faces as much as four years in prison. The Biden administration says Russia has been spending millions to influence the U.S. election and other issues through social media. The Justice Department says it indicted two employees of the Kremlin media group called RT. It alleges they were part of an almost $10 million scheme to set up and direct a front company from Tennessee. The Justice Department says it is also cracking down on Russia's use of fake profiles and fake news websites. With less than a week until the September 10th presidential debate between Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump, ABC News has released a set of rules that will govern the matchup. The candidates' microphones will be muted when it's not their turn to speak, they won't be allowed to bring any notes with them, and they won't be allowed to question each other during the debate. You can watch the debate right here on KSAT 12 at 8 o'clock next Tuesday night. The number of available jobs in the U.S. continued to shrink in July, indicating the demand for workers continues to wane amid a cooling labor market. Job openings fell in July for the second consecutive month to an estimated 7.67 million. It is the lowest number since January of 2021. Economists were expecting the July postings to climb to more than 8 million. Southwest Airlines has an offer for travelers looking to save on expenses. But you have to act fast. The carrier has announced the return of its Companion Pass promotion, effectively a buy one, get one free offer for Southwest members. A ticket holder's fellow passenger can come along on unlimited flights for a couple of months early next year after paying ticket fees and taxes. Target's car seat trade-in program is back. The popular event returns on Sunday and runs through Saturday, September 28th. Customers who drop off an old car seat or base will qualify for 20% off a new car seat, stroller, or baby gear. Target will accept and recycle all types of car seats, even if they were expired or damaged. Are you ready for some football? The start of the NFL's regular season gets underway tonight with the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Baltimore Ravens. The American Gaming Association announced its first ever legal wagering estimate for the NFL season. HGA predicts that people will bet a record amount on legal sports books this season, $35 billion. That would be a 30% increase from the previous NFL season's legal wagering estimate of nearly $27 billion. McDonald's has redesigned its McFlurry cups to reduce plastic waste. Beginning on September 10th, the chain is eliminating the plastic dome-shaped lid. Instead, it is serving the ice cream treat in a new cardboard cup that has four flaps to cover the top. The update is the company's latest attempt at making environmentally friendly changes. Also rolling out next week, a smaller McFlurry serving size called the Mini McFlurry. And that's today's 9 at 9.